Well, good morning, you guys. I saw some of the work get turned in, so looks like you're doing pretty well. Um, continue what you did yesterday, for the most part, and uh, I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay, good luck today. Well, good morning, you guys. I wanted to show you today the next step that you need to take on your divisibility rules. And it works like this. Uh, what you did first yesterday, looks like everybody's getting this, is you put the numbers that you see in the fraction over here over to the boxes here. You go through and choose yes or no for your divisibility rules. Four is an even number, so it works here. It's not divisible by three, so no. No for fives, no for six, no for nine, no for 10. Six is divisible by two because it's an even number. It's also divisible by three, not five, but it is divisible by six, not nine, and not 10. Now, the next step that you need to do is you need to figure out which one of these numbers that the answer is yes to both boxes. So in this case, two has yes in both boxes. All right, so now we've identified the biggest number that will go into both of these numbers. After we finish that, we make a small division sign and another small division sign. We put this number next to the division sign on both top and bottom, or numerator and denominator. Then we work each problem. Four divided by two equals two, and six divided by two equals three. What this is saying is that four over six simplifies to two over three. Here's another example. We have the fraction nine over 12. First, we need to go through, oh, these are from my previous example, go through the divisibility rules and figure out which of these numbers are, are divisible by the numbers up here. You know how to do that. Nine's not an even number, but three does go into it. Five does not go into nine. Six does not go into nine. Nine does go into nine. And 10 does not go into nine. Two does go into 12. Three does go into 12. Five does not. Six does go into 12. Nine does not. And 10 does not. Now, nine has a yes, but it's not both yeses. Six has a yes, but not in both boxes. Three has a yes in both boxes. That is the number that we want to use to set up our division problem. We divide by three on both the numerator and the denominator. Nine divided by three equals three. 12 divided by three equals four. I forgot to write them over here. So nine twelfths is the same as three fourths. Good luck. In addition, for the note station, we have this problem. The frame weighs 12 pounds more than the handlebars. The handlebars weigh five pounds. If you remember in your brain book, we need to figure out what reasonable letter we could use to represent the first word. And the word weighs, because we're talking about the frame, this means the equal sign. So on your paper, it would look like this. F equals, over here it has 12 pounds more. 12 pounds more. So more would be 12 plus handlebars. We would use H. Then, it's a very loud tractor. For the next sentence, the handlebars weigh five pounds. That is a second uh, equation. It's a simple equation over here. Handlebars weigh five pounds. So on your paper, you will have two equations. And I like to put the simple equation in a box. F equals 12 plus H. So those are the first couple steps. 
you'll have two sentences, and so you write two equations. If you know how to do the substitution, you can do that also. This is just the next step. You rewrite the equation below, except where it has the letter h, we know that the number that equals h is 5. So instead of rewriting the h, we are going to rewrite the 5. Now, we can work the problem f equals 12 plus 5. f equals 17. And that is the answer. Okay, good luck with the rest of them.